the book Addicted to Hate, the book about Fred Phelps, says that he is a perfectionist unless he has its high rigid standards for his kids. Indeed, that is often the case. I'm a perfectionist myself, so I've been reading a lot about perfectionism. Now, a lot of these books say perfectionism is a cousin and actually oftentimes exactly the same as idealism. So perfectionists are often idealists. And Westboro Baptist Church is very idealistic. Almost no one can meet their standards. They have such high standards. You can't do this, you can't do that to be in the kingdom of God. And thus, their common response, which is also similar to many other idealistic groups, whether political, religious, or what, is to wage war against the world. Because the world, in its realism, does not fit to the idealistic standards. So it's the war between the idealistic people and the realistic people. I often have been in this position myself because I've been very idealistic, but I realize I don't have to be that way. I don't have to fight the world. I can coexist with the world and still get what I want. So Westboro Baptist Church is not going to accept anyone that doesn't meet their idealistic standards because you're either idealistic or realist and thus you're one of the two and they're going to wage war against you. I read this interesting book called Your Own Worst Enemy. It was about how people sabotage their own behavior. Now I believe Westboro Baptist Church does that. On occasion there are people who support them but they will say things on their website. We neither want nor need your support. Now why would you not want somebody's support? With other people it's more subtle how they sabotage people supporting them but with the Westboro Baptist Church it's right out in the open. Now they do this because they can't fit into their own definition and thus the book Your Own Worst Enemy also says sometimes people with a lot of talent what they will do is make really high goals and handicap themselves so it makes their goals even greater. Now this is what Westboro Baptist Church does all the time. They want to pit themselves against the world. In that book Your Own Worst Enemy says if you lose when you have these great obstacles in front of you, when you are going against someone who's supposed to be better than you, it's no big deal because you're supposed to lose, but if you win, it's a mighty accomplishment. Thus, when they're fighting the world and they win all these battles in the courts and otherwise, when people in the courts say they have the right to do what they want, it's like they're beating the whole world. It reminds me of the MOVE organization, a black nationalist group who would often fight the system and that one of their trials they call it the system versus their leader John Africa so if you beat the system you win now I've had a trial myself and I felt the same way it's invigorating when you fight the whole system whatever the system may be whether it's the anti-natural system the anti-god system Westboro Baptist Church or whatnot. and thus Westboro Baptist Church is invigorated when they beat the system